In this short video, we are going to see the statements of wife of Uthman ibn Farooq, the second wife, who is exposing the lies of Uthman ibn Farooq, where you can easily understand that Uthman ibn Farooq committed adultery. Lie number one. How many wives do you have? One. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> And we talked for like two hours. We ended up really being fond of each other. He told me, I'll find a, a husband for you. I said, okay, I'll make sure you approve. He said, no, I'm going to find a husband for you. I said, okay, <laughs> that's fine. And then we ended up getting married. Uh, about Lie of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq number two. I take the qasam. I am not married to his wife. I give her talaq. Three times. Yeah. Three times. I divorced her three times. You heard it? Yeah, talaq, 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 please. Talaq, 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 done? Uthman ibn Farooq tried to fool his brother, Umar Abu Adnan Halak, by saying, I have given talaq, talaq, talaq to your wife. Instead, he has not given. He is just trying to fool him. And why he did that? Just to save himself from the prison time. Yes, this is a crime. On the other side, that person knows Uthman ibn Farooq very well. That how cunning he is. So he published this talaq. This saying of divorce three times. He made it public. So that is why now he is saying that, no, I didn't marry. Uthman ibn Farooq changed his stance from divorce to I didn't marry. He is speaking lie now because he is afraid of the Islamic law which he wants to bring into USA. So according to that law, Uthman ibn Farooq punishment is stoning to death. Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, lie number three. And why she's at your mother's house? If somebody goes to your mother's house, does that mean they're married to you? got permission from my husband to try and sell these for my mother-in-law these are not my paintings they are hers but she wants to sell them and get rid of them you know that she's my wife and you know me very well why you didn't tell me abu your wife is renting you said she rents there why you didn't tell me abu your wife is renting from from my mother that's what you said why didn't you tell me that? Why are you hiding that? And why you lied to me in a message that you told me that your mother lives alone? Seemed like you didn't know that I have a video of my wife saying, calling your mother, mother-in-law. So anybody who... And now Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq is trying his best to make a deal with Abu Adnan by threatening him or by giving him some, you know, kind of bribe or anything. You are going to see a settlement very soon with a forged kind of documents or statements. But my point is, Uthman ibn Farooq and Abu Adnan and the wife of both of you, whatever is her name, you need to repent. You need to confess your sins. The law of the world, according to the law of this world, you are punishable by death or according to USA law, three years imprisonment. But I want to invite you to save your soul. This law of the world is not going to forgive you. But you can get forgiveness if you repent and confess your sins 
and ask forgiveness from Lord Jesus Christ who is Lord and Savior of this world, who is Lord and Savior of the sinners, only then you can save your soul and promise not to do no more sin.